improvement. This holder can only be found in an asylum of the abandoned and worn down variety, much like the holder of revelry. It does not like to use petty guardians, being the sole guardian of its object. It is so obsessed with self-improvement that it has gone completely overboard and has checked itself into the asylum despite nobody being there. Rifle through the files until you see a picture of a hand holding a pair of scissors. This is the object, but you need to pass the holder's test first. Quickly look behind you. If there is somebody there, then you need no longer worry, for you will be dead before your eyes begin to catch the image of what it is. If there is nobody, pick up the picture and explore the asylum. Search every room. Do not allow the streaks of blood on the walls to disturb you. As you proceed further in, the blood will become more haphazardly strung about, and you will see a body part or two congealed in the blood. You must not be scared. The holder is testing your bravery as the first phase. Eventually, there will be a room with a blood-stained being, its gender not known for certain. Even its voice will be neutral. Do not focus too long on this, for the longer you look at the holder, the more the holder you are becoming. You will realize the blood and body parts strung about on the walls belong to previous seekers. Show the holder the picture and ask, What did they do? The holder will attack you. Fight back. If you need to use a weapon, do not hesitate to bring it out. Do not worry if you deliver a fatal blow. In fact, the more deathly your fight is, the more likely the holder is to answer. Remember, though, the holder will fight as hard as you do, so be prepared to improve on your battle tactics on the fly if need be. The fight will last for a long time. This phase tests your endurance. The holder will eventually give in and tell you what they did. This is the final test, the test of your spiritual strength. You will go insane if you are not seeker caliber. You will ask the holder to kill you, if only to spare you from hearing the rest of the story. In the off chance you do not, bearing the metal necessary to remain calm and indifferent throughout the holder's tale, the holder will vanish into thin air, and you must search the asylum once more for the pair of scissors in the picture. It may or may not be in the room the holder was in, but it will be there. Check the vault of possessions. Failing that, you're on your own. The pair of scissors is object 358 of 538. It's okay to let go of that which you no longer need.